What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. On today, we're gonna to introduce you guys to a new build that I just picked up for the channel. This is a Club Car Carry All 500. This is the electric version. I've been looking for one of these ever since we sold the Cushman. And the reason is, it's kinda of like a utility vehicle with a little dump bed on it. This is a 48 volt electric system here. The batteries and everything is in this one right now. Something's wrong with the brake pedal. I think it might be broke or something the previous owner said. Uh, the batteries are dead. It's got some Trojan batteries in here and we believe it has an electronic lift or one of the uh, linear actuators on this dump bed here because there's a momentary switch on the dash and we can't get this right here to go up or down. Now, we're able to turn a couple things on on the dash, but in today's video, we're gonna see if we can maybe yank the batteries out, throw some lithium in here and see if this thing will move under its own power. All right, I think the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and yank these eight six volt batteries out of the system here. All right, so I bought this new tool here. It's an offset extension wrench. I got it last week and I'll place a link to it in the description below. I was wondering when the first time I'd be able to use it. Well, I'm using it on today's video because well, I can actually stick the wrench all the way to the far back back here. Now we're on top of the battery hold down and use my wrench here. If you notice one thing, I'm going to slide them like this right here, all out. And all right, so went ahead and removed this right here charger. It's a Delta Q, yeah, charger. We're going to use this Enjoy Bot down here. Let's turn it some. Turn it. Turn it that way. Rotate it that way. This is not going to be the permanent battery we're going to use but just to see if it'll work, let's turn the battery on. Battery's on, did something just click? Tote mode. It's showing we got a full battery gauge now. We need to jump the key switch. All right, so I'm sure I have a key somewhere, but I can't find it. And I just made a little jumper wire two ends that attach that spade there like that I don't know what this purple one is for just yet um, maybe it's got something else to do with it not sure but all right so all right so we got the battery in the switch is bypassed now and forward, that's reverse, we're good to go. That's neutral, press that neutral, let's see what it does. Nothing. Oh wow. We got headlights though. Wonder if there's a DC to DC converter somewhere else in here or something. I don't understand how the headlights are working on 48 volts, but that right there doesn't work. We might have some more problems with it, I don't know. Um, what does the headlights look like? All right, turn them on. Headlights. Turn signals. Horn. And the hazards. They work good. So this right here is what the dash is looking like. This is, should be the dump bed here, but it's not working still. Obviously the gauge is reading high because that lithium battery puts out more voltage than lead acid battery does. That works the switch there. Okay. That's the key. This is the Ford neutral reverse switch. Okay. And the horn is on the back of there. Not the horn, but the buzzer. It's on the back of there. And all of that's pretty nice and neat in there still. I wonder if this purple wire here, Brian, doesn't have anything to do with the dump bed. I don't know. All right, so I went ahead and stuck one of these heavy duty zip ties here, actually two of them on the EnjoyBot battery, just so we can take it for a test drive here in just a minute and see if it all functions out pretty well. Bright's over here pumping the tires up. We are rolling. There's a 
this out. So it was listed on Facebook and it said that the accelerator pedal was broke, but the accelerator pedal works. The brake pedal works, but it does not latch. That's the only thing that's wrong with it. Watch this. So it's starting to run out just fine. It's the brakes. The brakes really needed some attention on them. Uh, and we need to check out that back tailgate as well. Not gonna lie to you, I love this right here. Uh, it might be a little ugly at first, but um, yeah. You see the brakes is working. Yeah. But it's the part brake on it doesn't work. Not like the old pal truck. Yeah, so. All right guys, so. I trace the wire here from the switch there and it's going down here towards the passenger side wheel. I know it's hard to see there. I'm sorry. This is for the actuator, I think. It's coming down here. Okay, that one cable there going underneath the vehicle. And I completely overlooked this. This is that cable here, right? And you got a positive wire here. And there's a ground wire on here as well. All right, moment of truth. I put in a Joybot 12 volt in there, hooked it up. I have not tried it just yet, so I don't know if it works, but. We have us an electronic dump bed or electric dump bed on here, which is pretty cool. There it is. So now we can access the controller. I think everything is under here. Really need to, you know, pressure wash this thing right here. So, all right, so it's the next day, pretty day outside of day. Even though we got it running yesterday, there's some things on it I want to clean up. Look down here, mud's been kicked up in there. Um, I need to remove these right here. This was actually an added feature that you could add on to the carry-all, I believe. Yeah, I want to say it was like a fender protector or something along those lines. We seen it last night. We were building this right here, exact model on Club Car's website of the, you know, of the newer or the newer year model, but everything that came on this right here, we're building it. So I thought it was kind of cool. I need to remove them. I don't like them. Uh, the dash, we need to clean it. The seats. We're gonna replace these seats. However, I got a cleaner. I just wanna see if we do some spray it on here and if it'll clean these seats. I wanna clean up underneath here on the battery tray as well. Just to try to clean it up a little bit. The front end's kinda, of, you know, on and off of it a little bit, but before we get underneath it and start trying to figure out this brake pedal issue, I just wanna clean it and especially underneath the back here. I'm sure this controller cover has never been taken apart, but look at all the dirt in here from the years of usage on this right here. I really just wanna clean all of that up as well. That's what we're gonna do in this next clip here. Just try to make it a little bit better, uh, presentable, and uh, when we go to work on it from underneath here, we can, uh, it just won't be so dirty. Speeding by
Well, it's not a hundred percent, but it knocked off the majority of the mud. First thing you notice is down here behind the wheels, no more mud caked up in there. I was curious about how we're gonna remove them to brackets here on both sides, so should be able to get down there to the bolts now. This is what the inside looks like. World of difference to me. I didn't know use no chemicals, just you know, water. Um, batteries are wet, they'll be fine. Did the dash as well. I'm not sure if this right here dash looks any better or not. The steering wheel looks better. The seats made a world of difference. The spray I used, I'll link it down in the description below if you want to try some of that. If you see here, it didn't, uh, it didn't uh, get all of it off, but it got majority of the uh, mold and mildew off the seats. And um, I sprayed it on and it pretty much just worked itself. I didn't have to scrub it or anything. The windshield looks a lot better. I was actually planning on buying a windshield for this, but I think we might just keep this one and get some rubber pieces to put down here. It's missing those. Down into the frame. Oh, that looks a lot better from what I could reach. So yeah, we're gonna let this thing dry off for a couple hours and we might dig into the motor cover, check that out as well. But you know, I think it looks pretty good for what I got in it and for this uh, project we got going on here. Look at the uh, gym car sitting back there, just waiting to be touched again. Maybe one of these days, but here's the thing. I've been looking for a carry-all for about a year now, ever since I sold the Cushman. And when this one popped up, I was like, okay, we're gonna get it. And well, I'm more excited about this carry-all than I've been over a golf cart in a very long time. So, but there it is. I'll pick you back up, let this stuff right here dry off and I'll pick you back up in a minute. All right, so it's, uh, it's dry. You might hear some things going on in the background. I have some companies that sent over some 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries to test out, but I'm not putting them on the channel. I'm putting them on my Amazon storefront page where I started doing that now to like review products, something different from YouTube as another income, but it's not gonna be strictly for the channel or anything like that, but Anyways, um, it's completely dry now. What I want to do is get up underneath it and check it out. That looks so much better. I'm not going to lie to you. And let's see what the deal is with this brake right here. I think the brake is working. What I think isn't working is the brake latch. Or maybe that is broken off. I'm not sure. I haven't been up underneath it to check. So that's kind of what I want to do next. Starting to run out of room up here. I was uh, jacking this right here up. I need to do something with the gym. I need to get it going, start working on that again. Like I got a easy go, uh, what's that, a Jake's uh, sport windshield there. I got odds and ends in here. You may have seen this right here. This is a Saran um, dirt bike motorcycle, it's electric. So it belongs to a buddy of mine. He owns a professional uh, knife building business. He's been in like Forbes magazine and, and uh, all, he's all over the internet. His Middleton made knives. I'll throw a thing up here. This belongs to him. He reached out to me a while back, says, hey, I think something's wrong with my Saran. Can you come pick it up? But <clears throat> really and truly, I haven't, can't find anything wrong with it. Uh, it looks like a Silver Wolf uh, controller. It's just a accelerated the same thing as the BAC 8000 I think but this right here dirt bike motorcycle is super peppy and an instant torque it's got the 72 volt battery in there but it's fun um, however I've not been riding it just because I know my my boundaries but where I'm getting to is I need to move this out of here get this back to him and probably need to put that back on the gym I got some parts I've been trying to sell locally. There's a transmission, uh, it's a 4L80. Uh, it's gonna go in my C10. I got a six liter LS right there that's gonna go into the C10 as well. 
I ordered an airbag kit, or not an airbag kit, but I ordered a chassis fab kit for four link, the rear for the C10 and all of that. And I ordered it back in March, I haven't picked it up or I haven't, I haven't received it yet. But I've reached out to some people in, uh, on, on Instagram and everyone's saying that theirs took six to nine months to get in. So once I get the suspension started on that truck, then we're gonna start putting the motor and stuff like that in. But anyways, it's always something in this shop here. I was wanting to get up underneath here to check out what was going on with the latching system there. So it looks like the latching system is in place right here. But I don't know if that's broke off somewhere. I know you can't see, hold on. All right, that's better for both of us. I see what's happened now this piece here has broke off the frame it looks like it's broke off the frame over there as well they say you know I might need to get somebody to re-weld this portion here where it broke off right there hmm so that isn't a legitimate break there And it's completely missing the bushing down there altogether. So that would explain why this right here is leaning like it is leaning right there. And um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna need to get that taken care of. It's one of the main things we need to do. So another thing is this fender here is cracked. Um, I went ahead and downloaded the a manual, parts manual, the service manual, and the owner's manual for this vehicle here. Just Googled them, found that. I'm kind of torn about getting the front end painted because what this front end costs here, this piece of plastic here, is probably cheaper than getting it painted, to be honest with you. I want to say it's like 300 bucks or 330 bucks for this right here. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna go back black. They have black, silver, charcoal, uh, gray, white, red, green. There's about six, seven different colors. And there's one of these carryalls here that really made me want a carryall. And I'll put a link up here, it's charcoal gray. It's got a big Z lift on it. it looks like some 27s or 28s. It's a good looking machine. And uh, I don't know, here's the deal. I don't want to make this red and it's got like a silver back body. So either we're gonna go back white, silver, charcoal, gray, maybe black, not exactly sure, but um, that's the deal with that. I'm gonna replace this. Might go ahead and replace both of these right here, two pieces, this lower piece here. I might need to go ahead and replace this right here too, just to make it a little bit nicer. There's a little box that goes in here that flips up that hides this right here cable might try to order that box as well. I need the back passenger fender. And depending on the cost of that, I might go ahead and replace this one here just so they look good on the outside. And um, yeah, you know, we can, we can repaint the top. I can repaint that black. Ain't no big deal about that. Some of this stuff I'm gonna have to repaint anyway in here. You know what I mean? All right, I think I want to go ahead and remove this cover here. It's kind of, I just want to see what, what's, you know, the controller and everything looks like there. And. There we go, that's the controller cover is off. This is the Curtis or Curtis controllers. I wonder if that's a 1268. I'm not sure. Looks like a 1268 controller. The number might be back there. Let me go over there and see. All right, I'm gonna get you a little bit closer here. So this is a 1520L-5550 controller. 500 amp. 
Hmm. So we got a 500 amp 48 volt controller here. Really and truly guys, I mean, we don't need to AC swap this. I mean, if we could just get it going a little bit quicker than it's going, I think it's going about 15 or 16, maybe 18 miles per hour right now. If we could get it going a little bit quicker, I'd be happy. Um, I don't need it to run 35, 40 miles per hour. So, but we'll see in an upcoming episode what we're gonna, what we're gonna do with this. Well, there it is guys. Appreciate y'all watching today's video. Um, we were able to get it running kind of, you know, now that I've looked up underneath the bottom of it, we really need to address that. There's some parts from here that we need to order and fix and, you know, find out. My whole goal with this right here was to take walking tall all the way apart. I was going to want to put the lift kit from that, maybe the wheels and tires on here, just because it looks sort of like a side-by-side. -side. I really like the way it looks. It's different than all the other golf carts. One of the main things I like about this is when you're sitting down here and your knees is here, you can't see your knees and your lap and all of that from this really tall front end like a regular golf cart. And I like that a lot. But from reading online, I don't believe anyone makes a lift kit for these other than a Z lift or uh, maybe a regular DS lift might fit it. A lot of people say they won't. I'm almost willing to just try it, but I don't know. It is what it is. I like this so far. I don't want to get rid of it. This is you know, this has got a lot of my attention right now on it. I've been looking for one of these. I finally found one. But I appreciate you guys watching today's video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. Until next time, we'll see you all later.